Welcome to another Alliance Nationals point of view of my Gorbin Scout Nakujo, here to show you some battle strategy and some role play culture. So this battle had been raging for a, a little while already before I happened upon it and turned my camera on. You can block it with your weapon. Because I wasn't there at the beginning, I was pretty hesitant to engage. There's this cultural honor of the Gorb to not interrupt a hunt that isn't yours. This gets relevant later, trust me. But then I noticed this undead is huge, and a lot of people are shying away because it is swinging a doom effect, which would immediately kill someone if they didn't block it or evade it. Once it becomes apparent that it's kind of a big deal and it needs the pillow party support, I decide to jump in opposite Vry. We do some minor repositioning to avoid anything unsafe near the tent. Out of game, safety first, y'all. And we take turns as the monster swings around, grabbing that exposed back to get stronger backstab damage in. Now this NPC is excellent at quick and tight swings, even though he's spinning around. Despite being in the center of a pillow party, his strikes stay close and fast, and I burn a handful of evades on those doom effects. I'm actually low on those. Given the sheer numbers here, with a single huge NPC of Doom versus so many PCs, it was a really good opportunity to keep things low energy and focus on attrition. So I'm kind of mellow here. Taking my time, waiting for my opportunities. Not burning a lot of energy doing huge lunges. Just stepping back and forth with all the other people around. Taking my time on the swings, letting him do the math too, honestly. But then... Some role play drama. Remember her cultural feelings about interrupting? 240s didn't just kill that after hundreds and hundreds of back damage, all right? I'm about to just kill him. Blow. I'm not a split show. Sure. I don't want any of this stuff, but interrupting a hunt is pretty offensive. Walking in like that, all right? Interrupting a hunt? Yeah. She could care less about the treasure, but boy was she offended by that gesture. It's the principle of the thing. Stuff. I was just focused. You literally walked in front of me, all right? I did. behind you. You came in front of me to get it. So that's all in-game anger. However, check this out. Okay, I'm gonna do an out-of-game check-in. Hey, can I out-of-game check-in with you? Can I out-of-game check-in? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Mwah, okay. If roleplay is ever so tense that you are at all out of game uncomfortable or uncertain, I stomp on your bones <laughs> and I crush them. You have the option of a check in. That thing was gross. I just oh, put I... my hand on my head to signify that I'm out of game. We threw some okay hand signs with each other and we confirmed that all of that anger was in game. No one was bleeding into any out of game offendedness or, or discomfort. And then boom, we're back into our own immersive brooding. I really appreciate that about the community at Alliance LARP, is that we're looking out for each other. We can have dramatic scenes with high tension and high energy. And then we're just considerate about how everyone is actually enjoying the game. Because not everybody loves that level of conflict, even in character. You want to be careful about out-of-game comfort levels, too. Check-ins are so easy, I highly recommend them. Really wasn't. It really Another out-of-game tip here, gross. make note of your stats after every battle so you don't forget. That's why we print out our stat cards and have all of our skills listed right there. It's a huge help for the mental load of combat mechanics. Don't shy away from taking out that card and marking off your skills. Now, here we see her not immediately engaging again due to her own cultural sensitivities about finding her own prey. So she just watches that battle. They took care of the other undead, the battle concludes, and we carry on with our day. A bunch of necromancers and big undead. So stay tuned for part two. Nakujo and Ragnar are not done with the tense altercations. That was so beefy. That thing usually took 20,000. Stick around and keep adventuring with me at AllianceLARP.com.